So we can kind of start. We'll get into it more maybe in 15 minutes or so. So do you have any questions? None. Okay. Anybody have any questions? <laughs> Not yet. Yes. Uh, uh, probably not. I, I, don't need I don't need this, do I? Right now? Okay. Not yet. So, so typically, uh, no. Uh, you could have bleed through, uh, where you may see something. Can you hear me okay back there, Halcyon? Can you hear me okay? Okay. You got to use it. Yeah, I'll just use it here. So, uh, you you could have a bleed through of what happened. What you'd have anyway is like a dream state. Uh, you shouldn't have anything really going negatively wrong with you in your life where you know, things happen. If you do have a problem, then you're put back together by the light. So you're actually rematerialized, okay? Because you can't get lost on a timeline. That's, that's the main thing. If you get lost on a timeline, then you would not be able to have what we have right here. So you're gonna be dealing with people from the past that went into the future that came back to here. So if they were to die, like your great grandparents, right, you wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> so, so nothing can really happen to you. And uh, you are, the you that goes there will be the you that they're working with, even if it is a clone body of you. So that's what's being uh, brought forward. Okay. And the, uh, the the timelines are uh, probably from people, maybe from just roughly 500 A.D. So anybody who was warring with somebody else, they're probably enlisted at that particular time. What they do is they'll stop time. So you have to remember that uh, they're all using alien technology to stop time. So they know how to do time travel. So even though they, we look at it now as something new with the movies and things, it was still done probably, you know, a long, long time ago. So what they'll do is uh, the, get this correct here, because it's the United States of America founding fathers of the Constitution who are the time travelers, and they're bringing forth the energy or the, their, their spearheading connecting to the alien war. Now all the other countries enlist with them. So they're in charge of the whole thing. Only because, probably because they made the constitution. I don't think any other country had a constitution that would give you, you know, free choice, free will. So that's, that's the premise of the light. And you may wonder, how can the light destroy something when it would be in judgment of that? It's only because the light's regaining its territory that got stolen from it. So the light will never, uh, combat anything unless something gets uh, into its realm of experience and the darkness should not be here whatsoever. So the darkness is what I call the aliens that do not have a spirit or soul in them. That's one type of darkness and they want to get you because you have a, a divine spark which never dies. So it'd be like a, a, an eternal like ever ready battery you know that would last okay. And then you have the darkness energies that was created by the light. So reversing that to get it more proper, the, the light energies that turned into mind energy, like what we have on this planet. So anybody who thinks that changed and got out of the energy of, of uh, hard energy and went into mind, that's the darkness energy. So a lot of people uh, on the planet do that domination and control, maybe like your boss, okay? In, in true light, there'd be no boss. Okay, so what happened is, is since the darkness came in here and we're getting close to the time of ascension, there's no date on it because the light doesn't work in time. It's always in the now. That's where I'm from is, is the now. And uh, it's a different now than what you're used to because I don't tap into uh, the reality of, of cause and effect you're dealing with cause and effect and you can go into the now on the timeline but I live outside of that so I live outside of uh, records okay and history I just live in the now 
as a light being. So uh, which, what got me involved with this process is not that I wanted to deal with aliens, but that's where it brought me. I'm doing my healings and all of a sudden aliens kind of show up and I go, well, got to deal with aliens. And, you know, I've been helping people with getting aliens off of their butts, basically, because people would say, gee, Ron, I'm being attacked by aliens. And what do I do? I go, well, you know, you can relocate yourself on your bed. You can put maybe a tinfoil hat on. That will help. Okay. Uh, aluminum foil, we'll say. Uh, some people actually uh, have wore uh, like uh, a belt around them, around their power chakra, because they felt they were being attacked there. And, and that will work to a certain extent. Another thing you can do is uh, maybe go to Home Depot and they sell the uh, foil that you put around a uh, Smilar that you put around a water heater. I don't think maybe it comes like a 25 foot roll or something by about maybe four foot. Okay, that's available. That that can help people. But uh, that's about all that I could do for people was tell them what, what you can do. So then I had to put on the website an alien attack page, and I thought, and that was about three years ago I believe, and I thought, well, do I really want to do this? So I started figuring out what to put on there, and I really didn't want to poke the aliens with a stick. And uh, the light just said, yeah, put it on there. So I go, okay. <laughs> you know, I figured I'd be a crispy critter like in a day or two, you know. Well, it's been up ever since. So this brought me to uh, uh, go into the underground tunnels, looking for the clone factories, and getting rid of the aliens as light. I was uh, uh, attacked by the uh, U.S. government when I was in New York here uh, just maybe a year ago, possibly, a year and a half ago, uh, for about three days. They brought in the remote viewers. I could feel shots being shot at me from psychic attack energies. Uh, and then they finally figured out that I didn't want anything because they saw me as an alien. Because I'm doing stuff down there, which they should be doing, but I'm doing it, and they thought it was another alien race doing this, not realizing this was light. So I got them off me. I don't get a paycheck, unfortunately. I'd like to have that. But uh, uh, from there, we got into uh, destroying more of the clone tunnels. And then all of a sudden, one night, you know, I have these two men that come to me periodically. And uh, one night, all of a sudden, they came. <coughs> one guy is like in a brown suit, kind of like Navy in a sense. That's how, kind of how he looked. The other one has, uh, I guess, that, the, the darker blue uniform, you know, and has all the little badges on it and stuff, you know. And uh, also we got the word uh, imminent danger. So I looked and sure enough, I think there was maybe like uh, 2,000 uh, troops that were fighting the aliens that got terminated instantly. But that was one of the attacks that I knew about, okay. So I had to go there and rematerialize these guys because they were zapped. And that's what I do in the underground is when we find an alien race, the first thing that happens is they have the choice of coming to the light. They shouldn't be here, number one. But they do have one choice. You want to come into the light or get out? Well, they've been doing all these awful things to people, so instantly they're terminated. Then we go back and find out where they came from, look for the brothers and sisters, and keep following that line back. In the process of going back, we start finding more spirits, more souls of people of light. And the lights are to collect light. So they go back as far as they can go. And these creatures are, are anything. They're octopus energies, they have things with big teeth, just whatever you can imagine is out there, and worse. So, these guys came to me and said, you know, we're being, uh, uh, our soldiers got terminated fighting the aliens, and they didn't have the technology. That They came forth with probably maybe technology about maybe 20 years in the future here, thinking that they could fight the aliens off. So, uh, at that point, what happened was, the reason why they came back is because these people that were transported by maybe our government and other governments that know about time travel, many of the militaries do this, okay? They were brought forth uh, from, maybe, let's just say, the uh, uh, World War I, okay? And they would take the people in boot camp, or two, whatever, and they would freeze time and say, do you want to go on another mission? War's over, basically, you have to tell them something, right? They go, oh yeah, I'll do that, I'm already enlisted. And they time travel them up to the future. And they're probably going to maybe, uh, you know, 2100 right now to maybe 2200. And then they're being trained and brought back into our timeline because they can see from going 
going in the future, they can look back, just like hindsight, look back and see that, yeah, there's stuff happening here in the year 2012. Do you all follow me so far? So, so they have the hindsight to look at this here. And what they saw was an alien invasion here. That's the big thing. And uh, as we get closer to it, you're going to find more energies that are coming in here uh, that are detrimental. Because the aliens know that the, uh, that the, the Mayan calendar is ending. We have the planetary alignments, all this stuff happening. So most people are curious about that. But the aliens know, yeah, if they believe that, if the human race believes something's going to happen, but we're going to get them before some of the rest race gets them. So this is like a feeding frenzy for them. So they're probably even battling themselves to get us. So what, what happens is, is that uh, uh, the, the people now, uh, the soldiers from like probably 500 AD, whoever they were, the militaries or whatever, that know how to fight, are, the time has stopped. So if you're, you know, at a table, and you're having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and you're like this here, they freeze time. Okay? Then they take them off to the future, and they're still frozen. And now they're doing, doing their mission, coming back in time to 2012. Now, when they get done with their mission, they'll be brought back to that timeline where they got frozen, won't have any recollection of what's happening, and they'll begin their life over again. So, are we all on the same page? I'll finish the cup of tea, yes. Uh huh. Life will go on as normal. What's that? How can they do that? It's 500 AD. They can go back in time. So most most people that have you know have fought somebody with a spear or a gun or something, whatever they use at that time is what they're using right now to battle the aliens because that's what they're used to. But they're shooting out light. They, if they hold a spear out, light comes out of that. So true light is, is defeating the aliens. So, you know, they couldn't use a slingshot or something to fight an alien that has, you know, a laser or something, you know, it wouldn't even work, you know. <laughs> so uh, what the aliens can do, they can uh, uh, create a, a vortex, a wormhole, a vortex, whatever word you want to use there. So the soldiers can be out there battling, they can win a battle, kick back, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this thing opens up, and a thousand aliens come in front of them. So they're, they're always on guard continuously. Uh, they do have, in a sense, kind of warning devices, but when a wormhole pops in, sometimes they're undetectable. So the light normally works, but the soldiers normally work outside of the timeline, and they view that timeline when the aliens are coming. Now, if you're in a ship doing this process, you can actually see, since you're, you're, you're out of time, you can actually see this laser beam coming at you, and it might take 15 seconds, okay? So you can say, oh, I'm going to move over here. It doesn't hit you. The, the ships that I'm used to going into, at least my ship that I go into, uh, the uh, protection on it right now is about 15 foot of light around it, so it's very hard to penetrate. And normally, if you get hit with a, a, a particle beam or something like that, whatever they're using from the future, uh, you might have a little jolt on it, but normally there's no casualties. Sometimes there is, and if there isn't, I have to go out and find the soldiers and rematerialize them and make them real again, whole, so they can continue on. So that's my role in this here. Uh, so the, the enlistment process is between you and, get it correct here, because I can't talk about the government on the surface here, because it's not the same thing, okay? So you're being enlisted into the, the Founding Fathers Defense Fleet in a sense, the, the, the special forces, okay? And you can get out whenever you choose to because you're not enlisted into a typical, quote, quote, uh, military establishment where you're in for so many years. Uh, as far as a byproduct of it, you may have a little bit of recall, possibly, as a bleed through, but normally you feel much better. You feel like you're accomplishing something. It's like a puzzle piece that you never had, and now you have this extra self-esteem that you're doing something. Yes? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, okay, great. What I will say is if you have been in the military, okay, and you are a veteran, you are more than likely already enlisted. They just went back to when you signed up <laughs> and got you. And so you may have the dreams now of doing that. And I would think that possibly the police departments also are involved. Okay, but we'll just keep it 
more on the military aspect, okay? So it's where people take orders and they know how to shoot a gun, okay? Yes? Uh, what you were saying about the going back and there being casualties, what happens when, the, when we go, go back and they, they are a casualty and where, where, where are they? Okay, where do they go to? Okay, if somebody gets evaporated? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then what, then what happens is we go back on the timeline just before they got hit. And then I can get the pieces or get the, get the energy of that person. And then when they get cremated, I can take the energy and rematerialize the body. So they and, go back to that cup of coffee that way? Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, I think we're talking about two different things here, but I'd say yes. Uh -huh. So the soldiers that have been enlisted that for time was stopped, okay, uh, when, the, when they're done with their time involved with fighting the aliens, they'll come back to that exact moment. And then they hit the pause, you know, the pause button is on and they hit the play button and then they're moving forward with the regular life. If they, you know, were killed in a war, then they'd still be alive initially during that process. So you could be enlisted with your uh, family members, your, your ancestors. So if you see people that look like you, sort of, you know, then they would be your aunt. And you, you can request that too. Yes? There are a, um, a lot of symbols that people use for healing that may actually open up vortexes or aliens that are comfortable. Yeah. About that? Okay, sure. Yeah, the, uh, the worst thing that happened here more recently was, I think, in 87, when uh, people brought in the energy of the harmonic convergence. And that energy opened up a lot of stuff here. Remember, what's bringing the aliens in, they want to live off your emotional energy and your traumas, but what brings them in is when people pray outside of themselves. And they open up these vortexes because the energy is being used by the aliens. And so you're actually asking them to come in here to take away your free will, free choice. So that's the problem that people are having. Yes? Want to? David Ike's workshop, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what you're saying is you went to David Ike's workshop and you got slimed by the reptilians. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. This is good to know. How do you get rid of them? You have to go to my website. You have to go to my website and do an alien attack page. That's on there. Thirty bucks for the month. Get in there and, and, and work with the reptilians. Whenever anybody talks about the aliens, and uh, as soon as they talk about it, they're they're with you. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be bad to talk about because you're bringing in the energies. Yeah. It's already here, but you're but you're opening yourself up to that by hearing the information. Okay. It's not that, uh, and plus you may already have them inside of you, and that got activated more, and they'll come to you. Okay? Yeah, you go to my website and, and uh, do the alien attack page. Yes? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't normally give names of aliens when I talk about aliens. People ask me, I don't give names. <coughs> If you notice that, okay, uh, I never give names because why should I bring the energy here, okay? I'll talk about them and tell you what they are, but I won't give a name of a particular race, and there's lots of them, okay? Yes? Are they involved with the U.S. All governments are controlled by aliens, yes, okay? So what you have is different uh, levels of the governments. What we're working with on the uh, particular one here is the Founding Fathers who the premise is free will, free choice. Battery. So, and these energies can't, maybe I'll just wait a second here. Let me get it here. I'll yeah.
there. Let's pop it in. So since we have uh, the Constitution here, which is very similar to what uh, light is, free will, free choice, non-interference, and that's how the light can help the soldiers to do what they're doing. And they don't, uh, the light normally will not strike first. I'll go out myself like a point person to get attacked, and then from there the light will take them over. But normally the soldiers are out there fighting, and the light's right behind them. And that's the way it works. So if you look over your back shoulder, you're going to see the light actually there. And it, it will come to your defense and aid if you can't take him out. Is it going? Okay. So I can bring in the different races here. I can, I'll first bring in the uh, U.S. government and uh, the founding fathers. I have to make that <laughs> little disclaimer there. So here we go. You can feel the soldiers. They'll align the room in here. Normally it's pretty peaceful. Uh, when I first did this, uh, the energy was kind of heavy. Uh, these soldiers will come in with their complete armament. So here we go. These I are mean, the good guys. Yeah. So here we go. So I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. A lot of them are already here. Here we go. You guys feeling a little shift of energy? I'll get a little stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger. You can feel the room change a little bit. So it's real subtle. When I first did this, I came in too strong. And all of a sudden, it felt very, very negative. <laughs> and it freaked some people out on my conference calls. Now they come in more gently. So they're here. And so what I'll do is bring in other races. So anybody want to uh, name a race of people that's on this planet? Pleiadi. No, no, they're not here. A race of people, you know, a culture. Oh, humans? Humans. That were born yeah. on the planet Earth. Okay, I'll bring the Chinese. I'll be sitting. They're not involved, okay. I'll bring the Japanese, okay? So you feel the American soldiers, right? Can you sense a little energy? Here's the Chinese. Wow, the Japanese, very interesting. They're trying to uh, give me a mind control implant here. The Chinese aren't involved with this whatsoever. Very interesting. Got to do some research on this one. Here we go. Japanese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, can you feel that little change in energy? I feel like having sushi. Okay. Need a little bit stronger. I'll increase it more. Stronger, stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger. Okay? And uh, anybody want to suggest another? Uh, Russians. Russians? Okay, here comes the Russians. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, stronger, 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 stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger. There. To me, it's a little softer. Uh, in my experience, the Russians uh, have more hard energy. Okay? Uh, what other race of people on the planet here? British. British? Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, stronger, stronger, stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger. Are you feeling that? Okay. The Germans. Okay. Here we go. Germans. One, two, three, four, and five. And stronger, stronger. They're pretty intense. Stronger, 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 stronger. Stronger and stronger. They almost feel like the opposite of the Russians to me. I don't want to use the word ruthless, but that's kind of how they feel. <laughs> okay. Anybody else getting the same sense? Very, very intense. Okay. Yes. 
Africans. Okay. Here we go one, two, three, four, and five. And again, stronger, 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 and stronger. From my perspective, these guys are big. Okay? These are like your NFL fo football players, okay? Irish. Irish? Okay. Irish. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, stronger, 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 and stronger. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I don't have uh, the. It's interesting that, that they wanted to say that so far twice. Uh, they're not involved. So somehow they're. Maybe they want to be involved right now. I don't know. But uh, as of uh, before we started this, uh, you know, lecture, we'll say they were not involved. I have to do some checking. Did you take out some clone factories in that area at one point? Phone factories, yeah. Uh huh. Any other race? India. Okay, Eastern India, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and again, stronger, 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 and stronger. Okay, Brazil. Okay, Brazil. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, stronger, 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 and stronger. French. Okay. French. One, two, three, four, and five. And stronger, stronger, stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger. So these soldiers serve as protectors of the individuals here? They can if you, when you enlist, yeah. Most okay. people that, that enlist will have the unit that they are going into, these invisible soldiers, even though you're physical here, but you are time traveling into the future to get trained and you come back on a timeline outside of this timeline, those soldiers will be there to help you as you're fighting with them. So they could come into this reality, just like right now, and help you out. You, do, you, do all of you feel pretty secure? Feel like you have some kind of like invisible backup just by having them in here? That's what I think. It feels like you're like in a little nest, you know, like a little baby bird in a nest, or <laughs> before you're out on the ground, you know, moving around. So it is very comforting. So now, uh, how long is this war? You know, don't know. Don't know. Because time, time is over. Time is elusive, yeah. Don't, don't know. Uh, so now they're fighting over the, basically, basically fighting over control of planet Earth. That's correct. Fighting over planet Earth, the control of it, yeah. Yes? When the soldiers are in the heat of battle, usually that's a very emotionally charged, negative, violent thing. How oh, could they yeah. possibly use source energy? Okay, yeah, the soldiers, when you're battling the aliens, you have no emotions. You can't have emotions to, to do anything because then you'd be tapped back into an emotional timeline. You have to be neutral, okay? Now, are you, are you just using mirrors or, or are you sending out energies in addition? The, the, uh, you're, you're on a ship, typically, unless you're on a ground crew walking through underground tunnels looking for them. Uh, normally, uh, most of the ones that uh, people want to do is be on a ship, and then you have the protection of the ship, and it just shoots out light instantly. Now, if you're a ground crew, you might have your bow and arrow or something, you know, if you're way back when, or a slingshot, or, you know, your musket or something, or even more current stuff, maybe a machine gun or something, okay? But it all depends what you were used to using, because you couldn't take somebody way back when and show them some type of environment that they wouldn't know what it was. Because they're still living in their timeline with whatever they're wearing. They might be wearing a bear suit, you know? 
and they're out there fighting. But, but whatever that instrument that they're using initially to uh, shoot something with is, or, or you know, defend themselves, the armament will be shooting light. And the light is instantaneous. There's no time on light. So it's faster than the traditional speed of light. Yeah. Yeah. The aliens don't even know what happened to them. And most of the aliens are very arrogant. Uh, they get the warning not to invade the light. They get told to get out of the territory of light, and they don't understand. They think that they have it all. They think they can win. But then they can win, and they're terminated. And they're kamikaze type uh, soldiers. In a sense, you could yeah. say that, yeah. But uh, you know, all, all they're interested in doing is, is free will, or taking away free will, free choice. That's all that they know. So they're like a program. And some of these things are robotic, and some are actually more physical. Organic. Organic, yes. And they created in, in laboratory. They could be. They could be. So any questions? One more, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can bring the North American Indians in. That'd be okay. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, and five. And again, stronger, 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 stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger. There. Yes? South Africa, okay. Yes, uh huh, yeah. They'll go back on the timeline, yes. Uh huh. They'll go back in time, so yeah. And you can be re enlisted more than once. Uh, about uh, when they were, when we were working with uh, getting rid of the uh, black widow energies, they had to, black widows are very potent. So they had to re enlist people over again five minutes after they, they enlisted initially to double the forces. Oh, yes. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so people could uh, uh, like reincarnate as a military officer or going to the military like you say oh my dad was in the military and grand, you know my grandfather and going back out so so that could be uh, an initial program that they're running to do that yes that is correct yes this lady here everything here that you're dealing with would be from the aliens because you're using the mind energy, collective consciousness, and that was created by the aliens. Your vocabulary is alien, okay, for your own language, that maybe, you know, for your ancestors, although well, we're speaking English here. Uh, that's all alien stuff. There's key words in there, key phrases. Uh, the vowels uh, are, are used for tracking, uh, like 1111 is a tracking program. So when you see the 1111 on your clock, that's just a program that allows you to move your body to see what time it is. And when you connect that you do see 1111, then they got you on a program. So that's, uh, everything here is mind controlled. Even though you think you have free will, that's just strictly a mind control program that makes you think that. You do have some kind of life, but remember you're, you're born under your natal chart. And uh, the natal chart that you have is your basic life path. It can be changed, but most people are unconscious of it to try to, you know, change something. So that's probably maybe 90% of what you're living is that, and that's from your DNA of your body. Yes? A set of masters, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Okay? Uh, the old... Uh, uh, Song used to sing in school. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, a lot of truth in that. What's out there? Okay. So, like, what they do is the aliens will project a, a hologram of you living here. So, what's behind those doors? Are they going to waste the footage of energy? and uh, the energy to materialize that room next door if you're not in there. You know humans in there? No, they not even exist. Until you open that door, then they'll start the hologram going. What, and what's in, what's in, all right. 
I open up the door, so what do I see? That room. What you're going to see is the room. The room. You're going to see the room. That's it. That's it. But but when you're not, uh, when the door is closed, it may not even exist. Okay. Everything is is here as you perceive it. Okay. So that's kind of zen in a way. The tree falls and no one's around. Did it fall if nobody was around to see it? In, in a sense, yes. Uh huh. So, what I can do is, uh, if you guys want to enlist, you can. You can have a little experience with that if you want to go out on a ship just to see what it's like to battle the aliens. Normally, you have about a week of orientation. We can do that if you want. But you tell them about the benefit to the humans if they get killed. Yeah, they, 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 if you get killed, the, one of the main benefits is that since you're made up of DNA and that's your storyline and who you are, they can actually probably make you better than what you were initially. You can be cloned. You are a clone out there. You are a clone like you are in here fighting, but, but, but the clone will never change. We only want a clone because the one clone's on a timeline. So the aliens are not going to come in and replace you as a, a clone and a clone and a clone every 10 minutes like happens here. Humans so, have souls. Yeah, but, but, but it's, you, missed, you missed the most important part of the lecture. So you're, you're, they, they put a small piece of you in your body as your spirit and a small piece in your physical body to materialize that. So let, let's bring in uh, one of the light ships here. And uh, you can pick whatever country you want, but we'll probably keep with uh, uh, the United States right now. So we'll just have them come in. You go on one of the light ships to do some battling. You can see what it's like. And uh, right now they're, they're being taken out as an observer on one of the ships. So you may actually see lasers come at you. Uh, that's what you're experiencing right now. And you can also watch a termination of the aliens that are battling. If you felt uh, sometimes when the lasers hit the ships, the ships kind of jerk a little bit, a lot of force there. <clears throat> you're looking at something that isn't even on this planet, okay, as far as what they're doing to, you know, the, te the technologies are so advanced that we wouldn't have a clue here what's going on, but out there it's, it's, it's very real. That's why they have to use a technology of light to, to terminate them. Is, is it connected to a recent explosion in the small town in Wisconsin? Have you heard about that a few days ago? No. I'm not, it was yeah. on the radio. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware of that one. It was on the radio. It said everyone's mystified. It appeared to be explosion. Nobody knew. In the small town in Wisconsin, nobody knew yeah. what it was. I have no intel on that. So how does it feel? Are you guys seeing, sensing anything happening? So I'll bring you back here. Let me back down. One, two, three, four, five. There. So how was that? Any comments? Like you had a, maybe an experience, anything that you could. Ex How was it for you? Huh? Helicopters? Okay, anybody else have an experience? Yes? I didn't really see anything, but my, uh, I left the door on the Weird. Weird? Okay. Yes. What's my story? Part of my study hypnosis. Uh huh. And you can find me trying to practice with the project. We're all of a sudden seeing people who are entities who describe themselves as aliens or in this part. And it was a shift. I mean, that's why he described me. That he had entered into or stepped into an area with him and that he was never to have a question. And it was like 
Yeah, most of the ships that people see, uh, like I say, probably 95% of them are made on this planet. And maybe your neighbor could be flying one of them, okay? Uh, I kind of, people talk about uh, seeing a ship in the sky and they got different colored lights on it blinking. <laughs> you know, like, come on, hello. I mean, after you've been on these ships, and you, I mean, no way, <laughs> you know, no way. Uh, but uh, a lot of those could be holograms too. The true alien ships uh, uh, are stealth, much like your ship clouds that you can't see. Okay, so I'll just look out here in the, any day of the week, look for a cloud, and it'll have a flat bottom to it. That's a ship. You know, the older people here, I guess we're all kind of old, <laughs> remember the clouds that used to be round, okay? So from probably, you know, uh, I would say, looking at the movies on TV, uh, probably from maybe the middle 50s to 60s is when they started to come in. So if you look at an old black and white movie a long time ago, you're going to see the beautiful clouds, at least by the 80s, okay? So they're giving you mind control transmissions. That's what they're there to do. And uh, they're here, but they're outside of our timeline. We can see them with the cloud, once the cloud goes away, then you can't see them, which means that they're still here, but the cloud just closed itself over the alien ship. And that's the problem that we have here, that people don't, people are trying to look for a spaceship, a flying saucer, and they're all around us. Up there probably at maybe 15,000. Huh? Why do you see them? Why what? Why we don't see them? Because, it, because they're in a different dimension. But the cloud forms around it. Okay, as it's bleeding through into this dimension, you know, so we're seeing the cloud do that. If we didn't have any clouds, it probably wouldn't appear, but somehow the atmosphere attracts the energy uh, that would form around the ship. What are the purposes of the chemtrails? Don't know. Uh, I don't get into chemtrails. That's the big mystery. <laughs> Because yeah, everybody, because everybody, very visible. Yeah. See, see, I can only talk about light. I don't talk about the government stuff, even though I may know about a few things, you know. But I can't get involved with chemtrails. Okay, that's not my forte. Everybody else will talk about them, but that's not where my focus is. My focus is ascension and light, and now we're we're branching off into getting rid of the aliens, taking away your free choice, free will. If the aliens stopped coming here, everybody would have no more mind control transmissions. In fact, I'll just turn it off for you right now. Ready? Count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. There. Your mind control is turned off. Now, if you think a thought, it may not come from your head. This is what they're connecting to you. How do you people feel? Feel more at peace? Body relaxing? Remember, you still have here all these electronic stuff going on. All the cell phone towers, everything else. You have a cell phone in your pocket. It's probably radiating energy out, right? That, that's still here, but yet the mind control is off you. This is mind control. So your body relaxes, okay? What's that? Yes, uh-huh. So the aliens brought in mind, universal mind, type of consciousness, the New Age movement, uh, whatever is out there. Uh, in mind, okay, and the mind is uh, what they're using to control you. They have a medium there. You turn it off, all of if everybody was in their heart with no mind control, it was given to the mind control patterns, we, we wouldn't have any more. Why would you want, can you kill anybody right now? Just think about it. Can you hurt somebody? You know, could you kick a dog right now? No. Mind control's off. So that's the process, is that that's what the aliens are doing to you. And it, and it can get worse. And so for me, I get people who want to uh, uh, 
uh, confront me, they go, oh, there's got to be some good aliens out there. Well, where are they? Okay? Yeah, I'm sure there could be, but the ones that I deal with are the bad ones, are the ones trying to take away your free choice, free will. And that's uh, the problem that we're having. Yes? Question? I don't, get, I don't get into New World Order. It doesn't have to do with the aliens. Everything is controlled here by the aliens. So the New World Order, yeah, it's very possible. But I, I can't bridge that gap. Yeah, I, I don't bridge that gap. Because that gap is something that's political. I don't deal with politics. I'm just dealing with control. Yeah, everything gets controlled. Yeah. All right, so if you can go tech technologically, Somebody's using a cell phone. Can invisible subliminal messages? Yes. Yes. As you're having a conversation with someone. Yes, all the time. Yes. Uh -huh. And, and if you know, if you notice, uh, if you're, I don't watch sports on TV whatsoever. Uh, I don't like especially like football games or something, you know. But uh, I don't watch that. But if you listen to the background noise, you know, the crowd. You mean? The crowd. <coughs> it's, it's all about the same. You know, if you can think back, you you heard one particular you know, a football game, and it has a certain pattern to it, and then you hear another one, it's a certain pattern. Now, I'm not saying that the TV station is giving you this pattern, right? I'm just saying that the mind control uh, is like, you know, rides on top of it like a carrier wave, and it may make the sound like that, okay? Yes? Is it true that there are 3D glasses that you can use to see through some little messages? Is it true? I don't know. Like these sunglasses that you can put on and then you can they see live? where all the messages on. Yeah, yeah almost, yeah, just like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's not true. You're saying they live is not true. They, they live is true. It is true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, but I don't know. Oh, any, the glasses part. I don't know of any You're glasses. You're saying the reality of the they live is true, but not the glasses part where you can see through. So right. then why yeah, do you I protect, don't, well, how I, you protect I, yourself? I would imagine that uh, there may be a technology to see aliens that could be very high tech which would be the alien technology of the aliens not wanting to be hunted by another alien race. And they probably have that technology, and that technology could be down here somewhere. You don't know. Okay. There's some mysteries that we can't answer. Is that what you're saying? That's correct. And I can only go so far with what I know. If I don't know about it, I'm going to tell you. I, I, yeah, that's fair. I don't make up stories or anything. Mm -hmm. So you would classify <laughs> demonic possession as aliens? <laughs> yes. What? 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 what Defined as demonic possession traditionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demonic stuff would be alien life forms that come into a body, take over a body. And uh, I have dealt with those energies. Okay? I have dealt with those, yes. Uh huh. But one of the races uh, looks like, uh, uh, in fact, some of these came into the light actually. They look, they're horned creatures with a tail, sharp claws, and red eyes. They stand upright. They stand upright, yes. That's all. Ones that I worked with, as I'm looking, uh, are between eight to eighteen feet tall. That you worked against. Worked against, yeah. Okay. And some of these came into the light. And they so have a choice to go into the light. Because they always have the chance before they get terminated, and they shouldn't be here. So right away, they're playing in our sandbox of light. Number one, okay, they should not be here whatsoever. They should not be giving you mind control stuff, but they're getting something out of it, which is you. Energy. But yeah, they're, they're taking a piece of you. Okay. And, and yeah. In a sense, vampires, yeah. And so, well, yeah. Psychic yeah, also, vampires, we'll say, okay. Also, but, but they shouldn't be here, so they have a choice to uh, uh, to come into the light. Also, they can um, overlap someone, so if, if you're looking at someone... That's a shapeshifter. And they can make someone's face look different. Yeah. So they can overlap. Yeah. yeah, that's because the time changes. So they can copy and paste something on someone or have something come into the body of something, like an entity, and it could be an alien en energy. And the aliens could uh, uh, hitchhike into anybody. So, I mean, you could be having a conversation looking at someone. And the person and could change, and they physically like, change, they yeah. like a monster and scare someone. Yeah. And the person said, what's going That's on? That's on YouTube. You can, you can look in there on YouTube and see people changing. Yes? Before you said that it was rare to have one of these. Very rare, yet yeah, they haven't come into the light. Yeah. Yeah, what happens is, is uh, they have a choice to come into the light, okay? Uh, some of these beings could have a spirit or soul in them, and they forgot what it was. They got heavily mind controlled, okay? 
And all of a sudden they realize, yeah, you know, what what will happen is the light will give them a chance to see the light. And so normally, uh, hypothetically, we'll say there's a thousand of them, and they'll take a couple. They were the head ones. They'll say, we'll say, do you want to come into the light to see what it's like? And they'll come into it. Uh, they're still going to be in duality. So they have one foot in duality, one into the light, and say, so this is what it's like: free choice, free will. And they may say, you know, I know what duality is, but this is much better. Then they'll tell their group, saying, "Hey, this is a good thing to go to," and they all they all, they all go over the uh, Eastern Indian deities that uh, came into the light. There's, I think, 46 of them, and, and all those uh, got tired. Uh, it was real sad because they were exhausted. Everybody's using them for a purpose to get what they want to have, and the aliens made them produce. Okay, and when they had a chance, I was going to terminate them, but I always gave them a chance to go into the light. And once they knew about the light, they just switched over instantly. So there's, I don't know how many Eastern Indian deities there are, but the, yeah, well, there's, there's, there's uh, 46 of them that are in the light. The other ones could already be in the light, I don't know, but I know 46 of them went. So you're like an alien buster, like you have a pack and stuff? How does that work? Like how do you make them do that? An alien buster, huh? Like Ghostbuster? I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I remember, you know, they had that pack on their back and they had the two and they pushed them. Yeah, yeah, how are you doing that? Light. Use light. Like a pure light. light. Like downstairs, the light chamber? No. No. Pure light. You just stand there like that? No, but where's the light? Like, you have a device that has the light on it or no? Uh, yes and no. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give, is that proprietary information? Because I'm no, not trying no, to really steal your No, no, oh. no, no. This is light. I'll, I'll give you a dose of light. Okay? You already have it, but I'll give you a little more. So here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. This is like a minute, small amount because you already have it inside of you. You feel a, a slight change. You feel a little more at ease. Okay? No. I can't give you a lot of light, because if I gave you a lot of light, you'd disappear. You don't want to do that. See, the light, if you try to force light, let's see, into darkness, the light would terminate the darkness. Okay? And since your bodies is made of darkness, because of mind energy, of DNA, following me so far? So, so you are a DNA uh, darkness energy. And because of that, if light were to come at you at 100% strength, it would just terminate you. This is what they do to the aliens. So I can give you a little bit more light, but all your light that you need is with your spirit. And But you have to regain your spirit, because your spirit's been sliced and diced so many times that just a little piece of you is here. That's why when I do the decloning, you get another little piece of that sugar cube, another little piece, start feeling better. Because, because you're holding, your body, your bone structure is holding light at that point. And that starts to materialize you. So if you want to enlist, uh, you have to say yes. The, 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 the soldiers are here. The U.S. soldiers are here. You go through their orientation first, and then from there, you can go into whatever race you wish to go into from there. Uh, it takes about a week, typically. Sometimes people have been out fighting the aliens within a day. You can, you can be on a computer. You can do something else besides battles. It's up to you, but most people want to kind of get even. You know, because they see what's happening here. So it's more of regaining your, your own divinity, your own self, that the aliens have stole from you. And that's what it's about. You can deal this whenever you choose to. It's nothing that's going to be dramatic. When you're fighting the aliens, you have to be in the moment, in pure peace. You can't be in judgment. Because they can be taken over by the aliens. Because they're in judgment. They're in duality. Uh, so what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is something that uh, they claim was brought here. It doesn't exist. Okay? The Holy Spirit is a dark side energy that is that was brought forth in the Bible stating that Jesus left the Holy Spirit here to keep people safe. It doesn't exist. The only thing to keep you safe is your own spirit. Okay? Where did that come from? That's your birthright. Being a human, you have that. There's a source for it, though, an infinite source. Yeah, that's where it came from, but you're here. Remember, you're stuck here through reincarnation. 
you came in once upon a time, a long time ago when you came here, and that's why you're here. You can't get out. You have an opportunity to get out every 2,000 years. The and Ascension. It, the Ascension, and that's your choice. Light doesn't care if you ascend or not. If, it does, if you don't ascend, Light will attempt to find you, because, it looks, because you're just, the only difference between you and a master is that the master worked on himself or had the energy taken out of the body for DNA. I don't have much DNA in my body whatsoever. Because if I had DNA, I couldn't do what I'm doing. Okay? So if a scientist took blood samples, they wouldn't find anything? Probably not much, no. Have you ever had that scientifically? Never had it. Nope. I don't need it. I'm a light being. So uh, instead of the, if they plucked a, a saliva sample, <laughs> Doesn't doesn't matter. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. You got the problem. You're stuck here. <laughs> You've been reincarnating and reincarnating and reincarnating and reincarnating. And you like to get out the hell out of here. That's and, and, and you lost the teachings of Jesus two thousand years ago. Either you were here in a in a body with your spirit, and a new ager came by and told you about something else, or to worship uh, some rocks or some crystals or the moon or the sun, and you went for it. Okay, maybe you you were controlled by the alien race of the Old Testament. Okay, and uh, yeah, and so whatever you believed at that time, okay, kept you from ascending, which is the mind control of the aliens. Okay, but you had a belief system. Remember, belief systems are only from aliens. In in source energy, it's peace. Uh, now in the Old You're Testament, in, the Old Testament. Uh, can you is, like Ezekiel was an alien, for instance? In uh, I don't get into that. So, any other questions? All I can tell you is that what's, what's, what's written in books is basically a lie put upon you. Okay, because source energy doesn't channel. Source energy doesn't, doesn't come and give a script. So, because source energy would be judging itself with the vocabulary of words. Okay, so it can never be put down into paper. How about written in stone? <laughs> the Ten Commandments. No. Well, the Ten Commandments are laws and rules from an alien who wanted to control you. Uh, What's the first commandment? Uh, no, no. I am. I am. No other God. Thou shalt worship no other God but me. Ah. So thou shalt have no other gods before me, right? Does that sound familiar? So, gods is plural, right? It means more than one, right? No, God singular. Okay, no other God, okay? So that's telling you that there are other aliens out there that are gods, okay? And those God energies are gonna control you. But this big alien God energy wanted to keep you in control. He wanted to control you not to go outside to worship something else. That's what, that's what it really boils down to. So who was Moses? I mean, you're saying he was cool? Every, every, everything that, that, that you have learned in this lifetime, okay, is probably going to be a lie to you. Because you're you're dealing with your, your in duality. All you have is what you've been taught, right? That's your belief system. And your belief system is, is something that you have read or learned about to exist here. But you're not in source energy. So you continuously are bringing forth one lie upon another lie some other information that doesn't make sense. Now the mind can logically figure something out very easily and it will figure out a way to do so, to self-validate yourself and your belief system. <clears throat> but in source energy, all you have is the, the moment in time that doesn't exist. You have now. Now. Yep, now. But you're not in now. Okay? You're in time. And, and the, I live out of time. I don't live in time. I don't live in the duality consciousness. That's why I can talk to you. That's why I can do these healings instantly. Well, when the Eastern religion talk about non-duality. You agree with that? It depends. Well, it all depends. There's always truth in everything. Okay, everything has some kind of fine truth in it. But there is. But but you can't. If they're talking about it, they can't bring that energy in because they haven't got out of the time reality. You can stop time. I can stop time for you. I'll do that right now. I'll stop time on the time-based reality. I'll count to five to do so. One, two, three, four, five. And if you notice, time has stopped. L look at each other. 
and you're not going to court anybody because you can't. You can't court anybody unless the time wheel is moving. Okay, that, that that's what gives the aliens gas for you because if you stop time in their reality, then you're frozen and you're on one timeline only. But you don't live there. I'll, I'll, I'll put you back into time. There now you're back into time. I'll bring you where I am. Okay, ready? This is source energy. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're in source energy, where time doesn't even exist. <laughs> this such thing as time. Is this the, the, the concept of, I mean, I'm talking from a late person, but is this the concept of the present, future, and past are all happening at the same time? Time is No, because you're still dealing, dealing in time. They're bringing forward I couldn't past time. Any different. Yeah, yeah, it's but you're still. It's a convenient way of communicating time. It's yeah, it's a human-made construct. Yeah, so yeah, so everything that, that you know about is 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 basically the lie. Okay, you, you can come close to source energy, but you can never get out of it. You can you can never get out of duality because everything that you have t been taught, because you have DNA in your body, your DNA in your body is going to keep you in time. So that's the goal to to dissolve the DNA in your body. Right. Oh, okay. Now we get That's the goal. I'm That's to get the goal. Practical. So you have to get back to the teachings of Jesus. So what do they talk about Jesus? He came to take to release your sins, right? That's what they claim, right? So what was he doing? Emotional healings on people. That's what I do. Emotional healings. Get rid of your DNA in this lifetime. It doesn't matter if your old DNA, if it doesn't resurface in you, then it's not activated. So what are people doing now? The, the buzzword maybe 10 years ago was DNA activations. I don't know if anybody's doing it now or not. 22 strand thing. Yeah, who cares? I, well, what do you want more judgment? They're giving you more alien DNA with judgment in it. You're trying to get out of judgment. <laughs> You're getting more stuff put into you. Not going to help you. So are you saying that all humans are hybrids? Part human, part alien DNA? Or all of DNA? course. Yeah. We're all aliens here. Your body is an alien species, but they stripped out of you a lot of stuff. They took the light, the light infusion chamber puts light back into you that the aliens took out. If you haven't been in the light infusion chamber, you're missing out on this whole reason why you're at the expo. And if you have a seizure disorder, no problem, right? Right. Yep. So, so just go get one of the chamber to get light put back into your body that the aliens took out of you. And then you have a, a chance to, to start to heal yourself, but you have to get rid of your emotions in this lifetime. This is why I do emotional clearings on people. This is what Jesus did. That's the starting point. So remember, your, your DNA, your emotional body is your storyline in this lifetime. Who and what you think you are is your storyline. And that's because when you were first born, you had no DNA activation. Okay? Because you're just a baby. No thought, right? Babies don't think. They, they learn how to think. And then you tell them, stop, go, yes, no. Yes? Who charged more for their services, you or Jesus? <laughs> he, he dealt with gold. Okay? Plus, he didn't have uh, expenses like this. <laughs> was so, Jesus the first one, or were there others before him? Others before, although I don't have the names of them. I, I was in Buddha before Jesus for a short time, mm -hmm. teaching about the ascension coming out in 600 years, okay? You were Buddha, is that what you said? I was in his body yeah, at times, yes, uh-huh. Because I know Rod Howard said I, that he was Buddha. But I don't have any... Or were you, any, well, are you were you Rod Howard too, or no? I, I, I can't answer what he was. Oh, okay. I can tell you that I was in the body to jumpstart humanity for ascension so that the people, 600 years, I, I believe it was 600 years, it was either three or 600 years before, uh, to jumpstart people. So when Jesus came here, people would have through their breeding process, that they work on themselves to get rid of their karma, right? This is the disciples of Jesus. No, this is from Buddha. Buddha's teachings, the true teachings, were to get rid of your densities in your body, which is what Jesus was doing also, yeah. but to jumpstart you. So if your ancestors, uh, back then they probably didn't have very many children, right? And they probably didn't live a long life, right? Because of, you know, that's, so maybe they went through two or three generations you know, in in a hundred years, okay? So we'll say they went through three. So you got eighteen generations, right? Three times six. Okay? So those people would have worked on themselves and had children 
after maybe 50 years of age or something, or maybe 30, whatever, they would have worked on themselves when they became, say, 10, to maybe the, the breeding age, we'll say, and they didn't, they, they didn't have children right off the bat, and they got rid of their judgments, then those judgments that they got rid of would not be passed on to their children. So you had basically 18 generations to do that. Then when Jesus came, he came here to jumpstart humanity and say, hey, you guys did all the work. You know about uh, what Buddha said, right? Oh, you're all cleaned out. We just got to do a little bit of work on you. Now you're ready to do the ascension. So the darkness killed Jesus, the, the space brothers. He should, should have lived here about uh, 15 years, approximately longer than what he did, to work with more people. How old was Jesus when he died? It all depends what timeline you're looking at. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. How about so, Muhammad? I don't have any, any information on that. I mean, oh, whether he's a dark force or a light force? I think the initial energy was probably light, and then the darkness switched it around. All you have to do is change a few words. You say, that's why the light doesn't channel. You know, I first, when I first heard uh, in some of the uh, black music uh, a while back, and, and they used the word bad for good, remember that? You go, huh? You know, I heard that. I go, I go, Michael Jackson. Yeah, you know, that this is bad. Well, it's good. Well, how would that work if somebody channeled that? Okay. That's like 1984. Yeah. War is peace. Okay. Is yeah, and, and so, so you can't use words. Life doesn't use words. Okay. And you can't use emotions. Ideally, and you can't use emotions either. No. And, and so the only way to convey something is, is to use the words. But if it's that's why the light cannot channel. I can tell you what I know as a light being looking down upon this place from, from a, a space out of time and out of the reality of the darkness. I, I can tell you what I see. That's all that I'm doing to you, is, is trying to give you information from light using words to try to describe something that I really can't describe to you. And can light be converted into symbols? No, no. It just No, light does not have symbols. So, now so, so, so the Reiki energy that people use to do healings that's darkness energy because it's a symbol that you're tying into initially when you get your Reiki attunement. Is it going to work? Of course it's going to work. Yeah. The darkness gave you the problem. So, in the first you know, place. in the first place, <laughs> so you go to a, 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 a practitioner, they think they're using light, right? Because nobody would think they're using darkness. So when you go, go to any practitioner and they do their, their, their whatever they're doing on you, you're getting energy from the darkness being sent to you. Remember, you don't go outside of yourself. Your spirit can heal you, and so all of a sudden, the darkness can take away what what the darkness gave you. That's good. The creator of the poison also can create the antidote. Yes. So that's the problem that that we're having. I'm trying to convey to you where I come from and how I see things, but I have to use words. But the light doesn't channel. The light doesn't grandstand. Somebody say, Ron, can you make this this water into wine? Wine? No, I don't do that. Sai Baba. Do, do I get migraines? No, I don't get headaches. Do you have any, any illness? Uh, one time I got sick was about two years ago when I was having the chemtrails here and versus the chemtrails in California. I normally do not get sick. I don't have health insurance. I haven't seen a doctor except for a couple of teeth problems, <laughs> you know, which is, I, mean, I won't get into that problem, but as far as a, a medical doctor, I have not seen a medical doctor uh, since I was probably about 18. That was a couple of years ago. <laughs> so, so to me, the doctors would be uh, uh, something that I don't even deal with. All right, so now and, and I don't fear death. I'm no, no, you know, if somebody said, Ronnie got cancer, I'd say, okay, that's fine. I'd try to get rid of it. If it didn't come rid of it, I'd kill myself. So I, I wouldn't be in misery. You're talking about eliminating emotion. So what, you're, yep. not allowed, you're not allowed to have a sense of humor, and you're not allowed to... Emotions will bring you duality. So, so you want the, to eliminate okay, okay, the, the, the body. Yeah, yeah, the body is always going to take a balance, okay? Because the body wants to heal itself, so it'll bring out in the DNA. Uh, we'll say laughter, okay? Now, what's going to happen? It's way out of here in laughter. Body has a sick balance, so what's going to bring the, the laughter back to balance? Right? It's the opposite of laughter, okay? Right? Whatever that would be. Right. Crying, okay? So it'll bring you the other aspect of duality, and you're going to be doing this and this and this and this until you finally reach the balance in the center. Once you reach the balance in the center, then you're in non judgment. The whole thing is judgment. That's thrown inside of your body. 
So basically, what is judgment? Let's judgment is, is is turning. Judgment is actually connecting to the mind energy. The darkness gave you mind energy. Heart energy. There's no judgment. But judgment means this is good, this is bad. That would judge. Good and bad. Yes. Yes and no. Stop. Go. And you have to use some of that to live here. What's the difference between discernment and judgment? Discernment would be where you already know what's happening. You can observe it outside of yourself or not attached to it. If you're not, you're not getting an energy that you have to look at and go through the cause and effect relationship of duality to experience. You can just look at it. So, so if, I'm, if I'm watching you, for instance, and I see you put your finger uh, in, in a flame and you go, oh shit, that really hurt, I burned my finger, I'd look at that and say, oh, I, I better not do that. That's, that's discernment, right? Now duality would be, oh shit, I can handle that and I'll do it myself. And I got a blister. That's the cause and effect, right? So, do, so discernment is just observing, being in, in the state where you're not controlled to do something outside of yourself it, it, as a mind controlling program. I'll, I'll take your right hands right now, okay, and I'll, I'll take away the mind control problem that you have on it. Remember, the aliens control you through robotic programs. So here we go. You just feel, feel your right hand, your right wrist. wrist. Here we go. One, two, three. Four and five. Whoa. There. Okay. So, so move your wrist around. Is, is your hand freer? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Now I'm gonna put it back on again. Come. Let us see if you're awake. <laughs> so okay, now, now, okay, are now. you supposed to be like the statue of the Buddha, just uh, with no expression on their face? No. Do I look that way? Yes. You know, but but I'm not tied into judgment. <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> um, I've always thought that the light was shining through the best and like pretty clear for a great art. Yeah. Yes, uh huh. Yeah, creativity. And, and yeah. The light comes through creativity. And yeah, that this outside of the body that is saying. Um, very often these things are both emotions. Or what again, the last part? Very often these great creative products devote their emotions. Uh, they only evoke emotions. Uh, let's say you hear some music and you start crying because of it, because you feel the happiness in the music. Okay, well that's because you have something inside of you that's responding to that emotion. What I do is I like watching movies. I'll watch movies to see what's going on. And so it doesn't matter if somebody gets stabbed or whatever, I don't jump around. Any of you go to a movie and, and you see something happen, a car wreck, or somebody gets stabbed or shot or whatever, and you go, oh, oh. well that's because you got it inside of you. You're reacting to a situation that you went through. Your genetic line of who your ancestors went through that problem. Or you watch somebody fall off a cliff and they get tumbled around, you know, and you go, oh man, that's bad for me. Uh, you, know, you know, you freak out. Well, that's because you have a story inside of you. I just watch them. And I try to figure out the loopholes. I try to figure out what's happening. So when I watch the alien movies where the aliens are, are doing stuff to people, I go, ah, I'm getting a clue here because the dark side is telling me information I got to find out about. Okay? When I see 11 11 11 11 o'clock, which isn't too often, as soon as I see that, I'm after that alien race because they're trying to program me. 11 11. Oh, they make you look at a clock at that exact Okay, here's the way it works the aliens are sending down to a, tra a transmission to you. Okay. And, and their way of tagging you to know their validation that you're programmed is to physically move your body, okay? So say I have a clock right over here. There's my clock, right? Yeah. So all of a sudden it's 11.10 uh, and it's maybe 11, uh, 10, 55 seconds. Yes. So they want to see, I want to see if you know, so they're up here, okay, let's, let's see if this person's program. So all of a sudden I automatically turn my body, move my neck down, my eyes focus to this here. I go, oh man, I saw 11.11 again. And they I go, ah, that. we got that person. I do that, but it's not. At least I twice a day. At least twice a day, yeah. I Let me stay up late. And I a friend of mine say, this is the angels and you have Yeah, well, of course, yeah. Angel. Yeah, yeah. They'll tell you whatever seems to work for you. No, because there has to be a reason why you're seeing it, right? And naturally, they're going to make that into some kind of divine situation of you seeing the same, the same numbers. And you yeah, could see yeah. one, two, and three all the time. You could see different things. may see license plates with the same numbers on it. That's just a mind control pattern knowing that they got you. 
So that uh, last skill, 11, 11, 11, that was a, a double whammy. Great, a double, a, a triple, double whammy. a triple whammy, yeah. Okay. And then all the people follow suit. They go to different healings, different transmissions of people. They go outside. They're going to go, oh, we're going to bring in this energy of 11, 11. It's from the gods. Well, of course, it's from the gods. Those are the aliens. They bring it all into you, and you're hooked up even worse. Because so you're going outside of yourself. You're looking for divinity outside of yourself because you don't think you have it. Yes? He's not fighting the aliens. Are the angels aliens? Good question. Okay. Uh, let's just say once upon a time, there were these beings here that were angels. Okay? And the light may have been in, we'll say the light came into the angels to do a mission here. We'll say for one month. Okay? And they did what they had to do for one month. Then they left, went back to source energy. Okay? Now the light of the darkness cloned or replicated these angels and brought them into all the churches. Okay? So all of a sudden those angels are now light of the darkness. They'll still do work for you, which you shouldn't really tell them to do, but everybody normally uses the, the, the Saint Germain quote called light of flame. That's darkness. They'll use uh, Archangel Michael all the time. That's with the sword, right? The, the light doesn't come to you. The light will never come to you. I only gave you a little dose earlier because I wanted to show you what it was like. The light does not come to you. You already have it with you. That's yeah, the trap. That's the trap. Light. Light. You, are, you are already light. The only difference between you and an ascended master is that the ascended master had all the DNA taken out of the body that he lived in. And, and, the, and the light being spirit came in. Now you chose here to incarnate, so you left the light to have an experience living in light on light planets. Okay? That's what you chose to do initially. Somehow along the way, the dark side gave you the wrong bus ticket. How or why, I don't know. A one-way ticket. And you came here. And and uh, or you came in from light thinking it was light here. Whatever happened, I have no clue. But it happened. And now you got stuck here. Okay? And then you got programmed. The Bible talks about that, something about uh, uh, don't partake of the fruits of the tree of knowledge. Am I saying that correctly? Anybody a Bible student in here? Well, that's Adam and so, something like that, the Adam and Eve story, right? So what's that? What's knowledge? Mind energy, which is telling you don't judge the light. So all of a sudden, people in theory wanted to have an experience of being in duality, judging the light, and when you start judging the light, then they put you into mind energy. So the mind energy now has duality. That's why you want to get peace. So you're all trying to find peace. So you do the mind to heart drop to go into your heart to get peace. That's why all the Westerners go to India to the ashram. That's the purpose to find peace. Yeah, you find it in, in 20 seconds. I can give you peace in 20 seconds. Yes? Did I volunteer to come here? Uh, yeah, in a sense I did. Uh, uh, what, what I could, all I can figure out, <laughs> uh, using my mind here, you know, uh, looking at it realistically, is uh, since I was a healer in Jesus, I didn't finish my mission here. And so, kind of being in judgment, which I really can't be in judgment, because light is not in judgment, but to me it's like unfinished business. And the light saw this place is like, forget it, this place is gone because the people never understood Jesus' teachings, never understood anything before Jesus, and this place got overtaken by darkness. So I came here to finish the mission of what Jesus did, as far as his philosophy to get back into your heart center and from there people could at least have a chance to do the ascension to get the heck out of here. So I came back to help people. Uh, no. Uh, Princess Dinah was the last one here. 
Uh, there was, I think, two other light beams. Uh, one I know, one I don't know. But but there, uh, the one that I do know is uh, is disconnected. Okay, because it, the, the light beam just couldn't uh, hold frequency. For myself, I could hold frequency. Disconnected how? Huh? Disconnected how? Uh, the, the the you have to hold frequency of light. You have to be able to hang on to the energy. What happens to when it stops? The the energy. Uh, the person probably has space holders into the body of light, space but, but, but a, a space holder. But I won't get into that because that gets too far off tangent for what I'm talking about. So was there was Jesus, was there really an immaculate conception of Jesus? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. So what does that mean? What it takes out your DNA. Your DNA is released out of your body. Uh -huh. So what uh, the, the physical baby of Jesus uh, emanated out of the womb of the Blessed Mother, Mother Mary, the biological mother, correct? Yeah, it's correct, yeah. Doing like that. Yeah, and, and then the light can, can work on that baby to take out the judgment out of the body, out of the DNA. And so now, how was her uh, egg fertilized? Don't know. Ah, how about Elijah? Don't know. But I don't know, I'll say I don't know. Because some people's, some people's theory is that Jesus was a, uh, a, uh, a hybrid, human on the outside, and, uh, in a sense, that, that would be correct, yeah, oh, okay. which I would be called a hybrid of a physical body with a uh, uh, DNA less uh, with, with a with a with a uh, uh, alien inside of it. So I, I am an alien to the aliens here. I'm an alien to you guys. That's why it sounds so different, right? <laughs> if you look at it, because I don't I don't live in your reality. Okay, I have to live here. And be in, in in the darkness, and I have to put one foot into darkness to talk to you people, because I have to figure out duality. Very hard living here. So I have to straddle both lines. So what I am is a light being into a physical body, which which had judgment in it, and they had to get the judgment taken out of my body. That's why I came in in six months, and then that process uh, allowed me to do healings on people. So I don't take the energy in. So when you go anything on my website or in the lighting cha the infusion chamber, it goes right to my body. Everything on here that I'm doing, I'm the conduit for it. If I wasn't here, nothing would be uh, uh, typically working. If I were to die tomorrow, I'd probably figure out a way to get the, to get the website working. But as of right now, that's why I said when Jesus left here, every healing that all the <laughs> churches and whatever bring, people are bringing in to them, with the name of Jesus, didn't work. It was the light of the darkness posing as Jesus. After Jesus, After Jesus left him. the spirit world. Yeah, when his physical body died. So, but Jesus is still in the spirit world for 2,000 years and alive today in the spirit world. He's, he's in source energy, not in the spirit world. He's in source energy. The spirit world is duality. That, that's, that, that's your concept uh, of what people have here, the spirit realm. The spirit realm is in duality. The, 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 the Eastern Indian gurus to come back and reincarnate into a body, the Tibetans, all this stuff, they're still in duality. Even though they look like they're at a high level of consciousness because they choose a body, they're in duality. For me, it'd be like looking down at a crumb on, uh, on the floor, okay, when I view that. So people use these people as, as a guru, as a master, or whatever, they're in duality. Would we still be here if there was this time fiction? Right, because it still is this time of Jesus. If it's the, the time, is just a fiction. It's not moving. You're kind of confusing yourself to speak that he's gone. Because it's still that same time. Uh, well, in the now, th this is kind of confusing. But you're you're in time. Jesus was not in time, but he's not going to be here. He has to have a physical body here as a conduit. Okay. There was no light being in a body here after Jesus left. So when his physical body died or he took the body with him, whatever happened, you know, I don't have any data on that. But when his body left here, when he stopped walking the earth with his body, put it that way, okay, there was no healings done on this planet from Jesus. There's no conduit from light to come into here to help people. The and church has created that. In the, they created, in the name of Jesus, that they created everything in the name of Jesus. Yes. 
enlisted now? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are enlisted. Yes. What can you expect? What can you, expect? Uh, you can probably expect a, more peace around you if you uh, uh, have a situation uh, of whatever and you want to know something about it. Uh, send me an email. Okay, to say that you're at this event and you enlisted. Uh, normally, you're just going to feel peace. You, you shouldn't have really any re repercussions of anything. Uh, and, and you might have a bleed through, possibly, of, uh, of the energies, what you're doing. Some people are really, really, really psychic and they might feel something. Uh, if, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So it, typically, you're not going to, you're just going to feel better about it. And you're going to have the sense of some protection around you, which you never had before. You're not going to know where it came from. You can say, yeah, I, I feel like I'm, I'm protected. And you are. Because you're part of a unit now once you do that. Yes, again? You know, I was going like that. Uh, my backup. Yeah, your backup. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you, for the people who came in late, you should open up the reenlistment. Okay, so if you want to re-enlist, you can, or you can, all you have to do is say yes, and yes. You're, you're going to first be in the American, United States of America, Founding Fathers Special Elite Forces, and you'll be transmitted, bilocated instantly into the future, be trained with, with alien technology. Okay, it's alien because it is alien. Okay, and you've probably been a little spaceship, a little thing going around, and like you see floating around in the cartoons, right? And you're going to have a group of people with you, and you have to be in non judgment. You can't be in judgment to fight the aliens, because then you're going to be in duality. You have to be in source energy. So, how do you, what do you, you just recognize the enemy and then go like that in that direction unemotionally? Unemotionally. Un unemotionally. Unemotionally. But I mean, you, how do you recognize the enemy? And then no. you, you, they, you they, just they, reflect. You're looking at the enemy and just reflect. Uh, the, but you can't be emotional. You can't be emotional. No. But you just reflect them. Like Normally, that. what it will happen is the 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 enemy, using that term, okay, will actually see you and try to take you over first. First. Out. So so you you're not going to go out on a mission. We'll say and hunt, and, and, and hunt them down. No. Good. No. Okay, that's you're you're going to be out there. You're going to be going into the territory of light to look for light because you're going to be saving and bringing back light to the light. This is the way source energy can work. The only way it can work. Now, if it sees uh, uh, some light over here, 100 miles away, we'll say, it'll say, okay, we're going to go now and reclaim light for the light territory, even though it's in darkness. Now, on the process of you going 100 miles, aliens may say, ah, we got something invading our territory here. Okay, even though you're in darkness. Well, okay. they're all over the place anyway, so it wouldn't take long. <laughs> you're, you're a decoy, right? So, wait, That's like in it. Vietnam, in Vietnam, those those troops that they dropped down to the helicopter, that the purpose was just to draw fire so the, they can fall in the jet to drop napalm. In a sense, yeah. In a sense. And as soon as uh, you start, you're going to be able to see the attack energies because they're in time. Most of those are in time. Few have found a way to control time. But basically, they're in time. So you're going to see this laser shot coming at you like probably 15 seconds. And you can just watch it. And, and once, it started, once it gets shot out, you're going, to, you're going to terminate that energy instantly. And, that, and the piece that's coming to you will be terminated also. So, you, so, so you're, you're, being, a, you're being a mirror? You're out of time. No. You're, you're, out of time. you're out of time. And the laser beam is in time. So you're looking at it. It's coming up. It's taking forever. It's not instant because you're out of time, and it just fades away. Oh, it fades away. Yeah, it, it gets terminated because it can't go anywhere. It has to be dealt with. You can't leave time. Okay. Now I'm starting to get the concept. And so what normally happens is that the soldiers will will see the timelines, see where light is being stored. Remember, they're looking for light. It's so all that they're doing is looking for light to bring back light. A part of you is out there. And you're trying to find a part of yourself. But that's how the light sees it. Because there's no such thing as lesser light or more light or this light good or bad or different color or whatever. It's light. It's looking for the creation of light. This is so what ascension is, is. Is this the white light that everyone talks about? That's a, is it in a sense, yes. The so white light. Okay, I gotta, I gotta in, get a vision. In a sense, that would be that, okay? White light, good. Okay. So, it's, so from there, the light is going to look for light. And it, and it will claim reclaim the light. Okay, that's there. 
and in the process of reclaiming it, the aliens may not want that light taken from them because you're using it. So you, you, you're taking the light away from the aliens that the aliens stole. That's they already stole source. it. That's your power source, because yeah. They're vamp, white light vampire. Just, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if to get it. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing with it? Huh? What do they do with it? Uh, the aliens uh, use it. The, remember, the light that you have, remember hearing, uh, like in the Bible, I'm not a Bible person. I did go to church a long time ago, but uh, you know, it must have been years. <laughs> but uh, uh, light is eternal. The light in you will never, ever diminish. It's always with you. It's always going to be around. So why not have a battery that lasts forever? That's what the aliens want. They may not have that. They want to steal that light to use it. Okay? And that's the whole process of what, what the thing is about. They do this to other aliens? Mm-hmm. They use it yeah. as fuel. Yeah, yeah. As above, so below. So the so the alien race that you could be battling, there could be another race on top of them controlling them. They may not like you taking out their race. Okay. So then now you got to deal with another alien race that was controlling the one that you terminated. So I was asking him earlier before downstairs. Did you ever have a situation where somebody uh, realized that he didn't want to know that he was a light uh, warrior? and instead said, just send me back and pretend like I'm not a light warrior and keep me back in the delusion of duality yeah. in order, and so that I would trade in and be a traitor to my own, to my own light beings. Oh, I okay. That. I guess that, that could be possible. He's talking about, can somebody defect, right? Well, or, or just or put me back in my delusion, right? Like yeah. in that movie, uh, The Matrix. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, you will be, yeah, yeah. when, you, when you're out fighting, you're, you're going to be in light. Okay, you're going to be in duality, but you're going to be in life at the same time. It's, it's really hard to describe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If, if you if you want to come back and uh, and stop doing it, just say so, and you're back instantly. It occurred to me there's a lot of these themes and facts that are running through the the, the, the reality situation that I've seen in different movies. Is it possible that we're getting messages from these movies about yeah, yeah, what yeah. the real world is? The, the, the writers yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the why, writers, right? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. That's why it, it looks like they live, it looks like the Matrix, and it looks like... Uh, yeah, the radio's to free album with a lot of Phil Dick, too. You know, Valis, so sometimes authors yeah. also, right? Yeah. And radio, radio programs and, and Orson and H.G. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. well. yeah. all, all that is, is the aliens telling you what they're doing to you. Uh, the, 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 the yes. Science picture, right, the What's that? That doesn't all come from their brain. Are, are aliens on timelines? No, Nobody is that brain. Are they only coming in on timelines? No, no, the aliens only can use timelines because they control time. So what about just crashing all the timelines? Yeah, if you crash the timelines, yeah, that, that would help you because the aliens abduct you through your to the timelines that you're living on. So, so they create a timeline for you. Yeah, it's, you're, you're being abducted into many, many times. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Come to my uh, lecture at 4. And I'll do some more decloning. Those are on timelines. So, so when you have an emotional situation in your life, you are experiencing the emotional situation because you have DNA inside of your body that's blocked. Blocked energy, blocked energy. But I thought you wanted to dissolve but, the yeah, DNA but hang on. together. And so your body brings out that blocked energy because that blocked energy could possibly kill you. And so then, now you have this storyline on your plate, okay, of whatever. At first it wasn't much of anything, and then as you get older it gets worse, okay? And maybe you start losing uh, body functions or maybe you break an arm or something or have, you know, a problem. Now, that's the blocked energy in you. So the aliens see that and they say, oh, this person here has this misery of whatever it is, right? And now they're emotionally attached to their misery. Misery loves company, right? So you go to all your friends and you're talking about your misery. Now the aliens say, ah, this person's really in, in, in this energy of misery. We're now going to abduct this person under the title of misery. And now we're going to sell timelines, thousand timelines to other alien races. And they all get on board because you're now in misery. They are sucking the energy off you. And then they replicate you. They replicate you into all these timelines because they have to take a piece of you. And then they grow a body of you, okay? Cloning, uh, genetic uh, reproduction. They clone an identical species just like you. And now you're on a thousand timelines. 
and now you're living those. Now since you have part of your spirit in each one of those timelines, a little piece of it, that spirit now can come to you and give you that same problem and that condition over again. And so all of a sudden, instead of having a little misery, you got a thousand miseries lined up on top of each other, and they're taking that energy off each one of those. And now you can have a bleed through of that energy, like a deja vu, and say, yeah, I think I've been here before on something, okay? And you have been. And, and you have been, because that's what your, that's what your dreams are. Your right. dreams are just a downloading of where you've been. So you shouldn't dream. No, the, the, it's a bleed through. It yes. can be on two timelines at the same time. It can be on a thousand at the same time. Yeah. 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 They're at separate times. They could be going right now all, all at the brains. same time. Yeah. Yeah. Are those right. called parallel universes? Parallel universes, parallel lifetimes, timelines, all, all the same thing. All, same word for every one of those. Multi dimensional being, same thing. Very scary. That, you, that, that they can take part, a little piece of you and replicate it and you can be all over the place. But there are very few people that have this awareness. That's true. So that's, yeah, they, got, they, got it, they got it made then. That's mind control. That's yeah, the mind control. So they, 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 they're practically winners in a way because... You have conscious. to be conscious. Yeah, and the consciousness that you're using is mind control. Okay, I'll work with your, uh, I'll work with your right hand, right? Let's do, let's do your arm, okay? So which, wrist, which left or right? Right, right. We, we did right first. So, so right uh, wrist, right elbow, and right shoulder. Make those real for you. There. Who? Okay. Now we'll do the left one. How, how's it feel? Feel like it's uh, better than what it was before? More energy in it? You got a shoulder problem? Not oh, the Indians got you. Not anymore. There we go. So. Okay, this is a good example. She has a shoulder problem. That means that she's probably out on timelines where the aliens might be torturing her shoulder. Okay? So let's see if I can get rid of those timelines. Here we go. So now I have to go out and battle the aliens for you. Okay? There, how's it feel? Did it help? Didn't help at all. A little? Okay. Okay, I'll do the other one now. Uh, uh, let's, let's work uh, uh, wrist, elbow, shoulder, okay? And hand, okay? Get those here. One, two, three, four, five, there. So it feels. So that I'm taking off of you a robotic program that the aliens put on you. Remember, I took off the ones for the mind control, okay? Next problem. <laughs> now what uh you uh might be better than ever, huh? Everyone has an aura, correct? Everyone yeah. Has, everyone has an electromagnetic field around them. Yeah. So now uh, what about this color business? Different colors of the electromagnetic aura is supposed to be interpreted as meaning your emotional state and physical state that's enough. don't uh, that's I can't go there uh, yeah yeah I can't go there it's all in time it's in time you see you're talking about remember you're going back into thoughts now of what you've been taught okay so the, the aliens will give you the energy the, the words to use and the, and the mind programs to, to give you okay like I said is that room behind that wall there you don't know are the stars real Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Well, the, 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 you know? the, light, the light that we sink in the stars is, is, was from a long time ago. How do you know? Like, but it, that's because what, they light, that's what they tell you. Because, because, light, because light takes a long time to travel. That's what they tell you. It could be a hologram. That is not instant. Oh, a hologram. It is could be a hologram. A hologram. So yeah, I, it's a painting. Last week. Okay. There were two stars together. Yeah, I saw that. Pointing one that was very big. Uh oh. That's not normal. Uh oh. And, and it didn't twinkle. They didn't twinkle. They didn't twinkle. Remember, uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All the kids know. They're telling you. The kids are telling you, right? What you are. What's up there? Is it a star? What is a star? Very. Children are very smart. Whoever made that uh, little jingle there, 
you know, it was very smart. But but you lost them. You forgot about that. See, all, all you have is what you're being programmed with. Okay. And so what I'm trying to do is convey to you how source energy is looking at what where you are. Okay. And I have to use words to do that. I have to step into darkness here to be able to talk to you. Okay. And also be in the now at the same time. Okay. So, I have to use the word time. That's all we have here, right? So I have to be in the, in the now to bring forth source energy to try to explain to you what I'm talking about, which is in duality. And the source energy doesn't know duality, okay? I can't, when I'm in this state, I cannot read words. I might be able to read one word at a time, okay? Because it's not like it's dys dyslexia in a way it would be, but, but you say I have to get into time to read a sentence, because when I look at a word, I can only see one thing, flash, that's it. And I have to go to the next word, flash, okay? Because I can't read a sentence because I would be in time. How do you read? You read in time, right? One word, next word, right? So, so you're in, in a linear time project, you know, uh, uh, expression. I'm in the now. All I see is one word. Why can't you just flash at one sentence? Mine doesn't work that way. I can't. I, I, I have to take each particular word and then figure out what the word is to convey to you. I can talk easier. Okay. So now the whole purpose is the whole purpose of your mission is to 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 uh, get you out of judgment, to get you away now, to get you away from mind control, mind control, and aliens. See, the aliens kept you here. The alien agenda of mind control and programming and everything else is keeping you here. And everything here is controlled by alien because you're living in the soup of aliens. Okay? You're the, you're the potato in the soup, okay? <laughs> and, you're, and, 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 and so you're in it. And, and you're the food for the aliens, yeah. yeah. Basically, you're, we're alien food. You're alien food, yeah. You're still stealing our light. Still so, stealing your light. So what we can do uh oh, we have to go? Too late? Okay, gotcha. Okay, everybody. So if you guys didn't catch it to join, you can consciously say, I want to join and you're in. And if you want to. Sure, but I got to read up on that. I didn't get you're not going to see any. And all that. I'm not going to commit to something as important as that kind of Sure, but you won't about. notice any difference here. I'm going to go check out, huh? But there's you won't no, notice any read. difference here. You won't notice it. Well, yeah, that's why I've heard that lecture. one before. Yeah, another lecture tomorrow. That's what they told another me before tomorrow. I had my appendix taken out. <laughs> I came to this world with no memory. I was a blue baby. Uh -huh. My doctor was sick, was um, drunk, 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 dropped me, crushed my my my. Oh no! Yeah, and here I am, being sucked sure. by the aliens. That's a <laughs> terrible thing. <laughs> I have to tell you, I, I want to tell you, um, I was wondering about